Okay, this is to demo using my head tracker with Battlefield Heartline. I now have an on off switch which will turn on the use of the tracker so that I can easily pause um, the use of the tracker when I need to. Uh, I'm going to just demo walking around. Unfortunately, I've gotten myself into a game that has no other players. Um, when I turn the head tracker on, it uh, does kind of the initialization center point. So I look at the screen when it first comes on so that I'm nice and centered. So that when I turn the switch on, it shouldn't be moving. I notice that I'm a little bit off to the left here. So let's recenter my head, turn it back on, and that should be good. So using no controls at all other than the turning of my head. I'm able to look around, I'm able to stop moving, look wherever I want, but it's a lot more interesting when you're walking around. So I'm just going to use this hand in order to do the forward and back and left and right stepping, but use my head to control where I'm looking the entire time. real easy for like going up and down stairs because you're using your nose to kind of steer which is much more accurate and intuitive than actually using a joystick It's actually very interesting because you're just pointing with your nose where you want to go. And you can kind of pre-think your movements like you know, coming out of a door, looking exactly where you want to go, exactly where you want to shoot. And that is using the head tracker. And you notice it kind of flashes around when I'm not looking at the screen because it's trying to figure out where I'm trying to look. But I can always turn the switch off, pause it, pull the headset off, and that's it. That's head tracking with Battlefield Heartline. Thanks for watching.